I am very excited to try out one of these Premier Plus rooms. Gee, you eat cereal with a fork. Maintenance needed, room 1023, spotlight out. <laughs> G loves trains here. I'm just outside of Macclesfield station where I'm about to get a train into Manchester because for years now at Christmas time I've always wanted to do a sort of weekend getaway to Salford Quays so that's what I'm about to do. Well I say weekend more like an overnight stay but still. G loves trains was here 2020. I'm still waiting for Avanti West Coast to put my poster up that's uh, the top of the bridge over there. I'm on 392123, which is actually one of the refurbed Avanti Pendos. And I have been on the refurbed Avanti Pendos before, but I've never actually vlogged on board one. The last time I was on one, the Ur chargey thing didn't work, but I'm happy to say that it is working today. Well played, Avanti. Manchester Piccadilly, just gonna get through the ticket barriers and then we're gonna head down to the Metro Link and get a tram to Media City UK. I love this Christmas tree they've got up at the minute and I am surprised though that those lights up there are lit up. Unless they just come on during the dark, I'm not too sure. I'm glad to get down here in this bit because it was absolutely heaving up in the main concourse but the tram to Media City that first just pulled in there, there was no way we was getting on that because it was just rammed. So we are going to wait another 12 minutes or whatever it is for the next one and hopefully that service will be a lot quieter. Wish us luck. <laughs> This is the second busiest tram I have ever been on. We're just making our way through the centre of Manchester now where there are a load of Christmas markets on and we did go to the ones at Piccadilly Gardens the other week which were very busy but it was fun to go to them because I've never actually been to them before. We have just gotten off the tram at Media City. It looks stunning as always and it has gone dark during that journey as well. And first things first, before we have a look around the area itself, we're going to go and find our Premier Inn that we've booked into. Hi, everyone. Hello. 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 We are on the top floor, the 10th floor, and this floor is dedicated purely for Premier Plus rooms. And I am very excited to try out one of these Premier Plus rooms. Well, immediately upon entering the room, it smells very new. I think it's the carpet, it's like a new carpet smell. I will give you a tour all the way around the room. I'm just going to take my coat off because it is a bit warm in here. Starting with the back of the door, we've got the fire procedure information. We have a peephole. Then we come round to some hooks. And the ironing board is actually hung up on one of the boards. <laughs> Beside that, we've got the usual mirror and her station, let's call it. It's a hair dryer. We have got a stool. You don't usually get these in um, the standard rooms. You have your usual wardrobe space, the iron. Wait, they don't usually have irons in Premier Inns. I've just thought. Got a spare towel in here as well. Some hangers. And up here, there is a bag which I guess contains pillows. Yes, it does. Happy to see a full length mirror. I love checking myself out. Coming into the bedroom, we have instead of like a luggage rack, it's more of a luggage soft bench, a TV, and then we come over to the desk. This is a different desk than the ones you usually get. It is a bit fancier, I'd say. There's a lamp. Something that is noticeably different about these rooms as well is this chair. It's like an office chair. It has wheels on it. You've got your usual plug sockets, USB ports, another mirror, a no smoking or vaping sign. We have a little like welcome pack of 
information that usually is just sitting out on the desk. Now this bit is pretty exciting because we do have an espresso coffee machine which I do want to try out with the little coffee pods. They've also given us some milk chocolate. Day. We get English tea, mint tea, Earl Grey tea, and then standard sugars and milks. We also have these like really big chubby glasses which I like the look of. And the mugs are different to the ones you find in the standard rooms. They're like bumpy on the side. And last but not least around the desk area. Oh there's a bin as well, that's not last but not least. But in here I believe there's a fridge. And they've even given us one bottle of water. Me and Laos will be fighting over that bottle of water later. Next up is the view. I've not actually looked out of here yet. Let's take a look. I did just turn the lights off to get a better view out of the window. You can just about make out the Manchester Ship Canal over there, obviously. You'll be able to see it better in the light. Now, instead of a sofa in this room, there's actually a chair with a footrest. I do like a comfy chair. Now, as for the bed, we have got a double bed. I believe there's uh, a mix of doubles and king size ones. Next to the bed, there's a table, which I'm gonna say looks like an ironing board. We do also have these funky lights. We have a greeny gray headboard. And I didn't actually think there would be one of these in the Premier Plus room, but I am thrilled that we've got a purple light. Around the other side of the bed, you've got a bedside table with a bit of storage space underneath it. We've got some artwork up here on the wall, like the look of that. And then we've got the temperature controls. I'm so used to there being a heater in the corner of Premier Inn rooms. Next up is the bathroom. The to they fill the toilet rolls like I do in here. I do it with a little triangle as well. <laughs> You've got a bath, a rainfall shower, big towel, little towel, bath mat. The differences with this bath is that instead of a shower curtain, you have got a shower screen. And instead of like the uh, usual body wash shampoo that they put in the rooms, you've got separate dispensers, one for her and body wash and one for conditioner. Over by the sink area, there's me. There's a sink, would you believe, and instead of calling it soap, they've called it cleansing gel. And underneath we've got a super shiny bit. There's also this light thing here on the wall, which uh, it looks like something. I, I, I can't think what it is. I know what you're thinking. Big curtain, big window? Yeah. So that is pretty much everything in the room covered, unless we find anything else during the night. We're gonna head out now into the freezing cold and check out the Christmas markets. When you book into a Premier Plus room, you do as well get given a code upon check-in that lets you connect to the ultimate Wi-Fi. I get the feeling the markets have shot, maybe it's something to do with it being a Sunday. Okay, so we just found out that the market's shut at five. It's now about 5.50. I probably should have looked at that beforehand. We've just come into Harvester. I have never eaten at a Harvester in my life, but I have just been recommended it. It's also very difficult to vlog in here because there's music playing. I love food, me. How was it? It tastes absolutely fantastic. Okay, I actually like never usually get full, but for once I'm kind of foolish. Now that up there is the star I want for my tree at home. How do I get one? Squishy babies! Back in the room, I look a little red, don't I? I'm gonna try out 
one of those coffee pods because I've been wanting to try one of those for ages actually. Number one, press and hold either buttons on top of the machine. Press and hold. Buttons? What bloody buttons? This is a, a different Nespresso machine to the one in the photo. <laughs> Then we insert a coffee pot. I'm just having the purple one. Alright, so we insert this. <laughs> and then press the lever down until it locks into place. Oh my days, have we actually got a drink from these cups? <gasps> I usually avoid drinking from the cups in hotel rooms. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Now, light, don't let the purple light bite! Good morning, big brother. I had a splendid sleep, minus the farting and the snoring. But yes, it was very pleasant. Something I will point out is that it does take a little bit of time to actually work out how the hairdryer works. It's got one of these fancy touch to operate. I'd say buttons, it's not really a button, you just literally put your hand on it and then the air comes out. Something I don't get to do very much these days is go for breakfast in hotels because I'm always up super early to go vlogging. But today it's a different story. We are actually going having the buffet. Best thing about staying in a hotel, licking the little jet, uh, the breakfast buffet. You'll see how much of this I can get through. Look at my vegan bacon. Mmm, How are the vegan sausages? Fantastic. Gee, you eat cereal with a fork. So the overall cost of the room itself for the night was £66.30 with two £9.50 breakfasts on top of that. That cost £85.30, which for an upgraded room, I'd say, is not too bad at all. Well, let's look at the view before we go. Oh, yeah. Really does complement the flowing water outside. Good, this wall. Well, room, it's been a good time. Well, it's a beautiful, sunny, frosty morning here in Media City, UK. It sounds like I'm doing a news report, but we've really enjoyed our overnight stay here. And after we've spent a little time in the freezing cold right now, admiring the beautiful flowing water, we're just basically gonna head home. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Bye, guys.